Okay, it's, uh, I don't know what day it is. Uh, Friday? Friday the 22nd. And it's raining, uh, like, I guess, cats and dogs. It's been doing that all night and all day. Uh, hiked up here from the last shelter um, in this rain. And got soaking wet, which is to be expected. That's my tent getting wetter. I'm going to stay in the shelter tonight. And right now, the shelter is full of folks. Have a dinner. <laughs> How about introduce yourself again? I'm Honey Badger from Reading, Pennsylvania. He's the Honey Badger that doesn't do graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Frisky from Keene, New Hampshire. I keep getting Frisky. frisky. And this young I'm lady, we get a lot. Bear Burrito from Montreal. Yeah. I need a trail name. I'm Brooklyn from Tennessee. Brooklyn from Tennessee. Randolph Green, also from Tennessee. Do you have a trail name yet? A trail name? You got What does that mean? No lo sé. Como dice? Better safe. Better safe. Value hold it? Yeah. Same. Same. Catch it? No. Hold <laughs> it. In English. In English. I think that was. I'm trying. Trying. Value is trying. And they say. Okay. Value. Cold. Very cold. cold. Mucho frío. Cold. Cold. Oh. Very cold. Odd. Say old. Strange. I got the old, old part. Old strange. Old strange. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Old strange. Good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> old strange is a comic railway. And it is just raining like yeah. mad out here. And in case I didn't say, this is uh, Muskrat Creek Shelter. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to hold up here for the night. Talk to you later. Okay, so we're, we're still at uh, Muskrat Creek Shelter. And this is what a shelter looks like after a day of rain. <laughs> There's stuff. Wet stuff on everywhere. <laughs> and the sun is finally out, thank God. Has the world heard your trail name yet? No, well, yeah, <laughs> yesterday we did something, but okay. uh, didn't explain why. <laughs> as long as it's out there in the world. Who are you folks? <laughs> hey, let me get these guys. I'll be right back to you. You're from Germany? Yeah, yeah. right. Trail name? Uh, tortoise. Tortoise, that's okay. I'm Autobahn. Autobahn. That seems like just the opposite <laughs> ends of the <laughs> spectrum there. <laughs> Unlimited speed and no speed. And then these two guys, I'm not sure we've met you guys before. Uh, I'm John. John, trail name? Don't have one yet. What's your name? Uh, Jim Clark, trail name uh, Kilometer. 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 I'm Quaker. Chelsea calculation Chelsea Peak, Virginia. Kilometers? I'm sorry? Quaker from Chesapeake, Virginia. And where are you from? Buford, Georgia. Buford, Georgia, okay. I'm sorry, what, what was that you were saying? Um, why is your train name Kilometer? Okay, I, this is... Good morning. Um, just left, uh... Just left the shelter. Um, didn't do any filming yesterday because it rained all day. Uh, started off at, uh... Well, day before, I stayed at, uh... The top of Georgia Hostel. Out of there until about 1, 1, 1 Um Hiked up to Plum Orchard uh, host, uh, Shelter, which was about, I think, four and a half miles. So it was a real short day. And then yesterday, um, well, the night before, it rained all night long. So everything was wet, you know, tent and that kind of stuff. Um, and then hiked uh, seven and a half miles in the rain to the next shelter. And uh, that's an experience everybody should try once. And then uh, just changed clothes and held up there, just stayed there. In fact, stayed in the shelter for the first time just to let my tent dry out. And we're headed off today and we're gonna try to go 12 and a half, which is uh, two shelters from where we're at. I think it's Carter Gap Shelters. The second shelter and then there's one uh pretty big climb in there i think it gets you up to around, around <clears throat> right around 5,000 feet maybe a little higher 
and uh, as you can see the well maybe you can't but the trails all muddy because it rained until about 10 o'clock last night and then it stopped and supposedly it's supposed to be nice today so we'll see you later Got a beautiful fogged in mountain over there. Clear blue day. Just came from that way. Let's see what this sign says here. Chunky Gal Trail. Well, that's not a very politically correct name for a trail. One of the uh, rumors, folklore, or whatever for that trail is that there was a young Indian maiden who apparently was Chunky, who fell in love with a young brave from another, another tribe, another group. And her father didn't want her to go to the guy she loved. And the story is she ran away and she uh, forged a, a trail from where she lived to where her young brave lived. And that was called the uh, Chunky Girl Trail. And uh, the reason that story is probably full of bull is because if it was, named after a young Indian maiden, it would have been in the local tongue and not uh, not in English. Of course, unless somebody translated it. Uh, things like Wyabald Bald and, and uh, the NOC, uh, not, not, a, not a Hala, those are, those are all Indian words. I think Waya means wolf. And I'm pronouncing, pronouncing Nanahela, Nanahela wrong, but it means uh, like land of the noonday sun or something like that. Part of part of that uh, gorge is so steep of spots that it only gets sun at noon, and hence the name. So that's that's a lesson for today. Later. So who am I with? <laughs> I'm Frenchy. Where you from? Where are you from? Chesapeake. Chesapeake? Chesapeake, Virginia, yeah. And you're... Quaker. Qua Virginia. Were you? Pennsylvania. <laughs> Chesapeake. Oh. Chesapeake, Virginia. <laughs> I didn't know. I always think of Quakers. I always think of... Uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania or... William, William Penn. Yeah. Or... Uh, Quakers and Amish and then like... Munion. Central Illinois. Yep. Illinois now. Just taking a little noonday break. Although I'm not sure what time it is. 10 o'clock. All right, this is uh, oh, this is uh, the trail right in front of uh, Standing Indian Shelter, which is right here. And I just actually came down from up there. I just stopped and had lunch. It was delicious. And uh, the water source is down there. There's a nice water source, nice stream, good flow. Although after, after the uh, storms last 24 hours, I'm sure there's good flow everywhere. See you later. Uh, we're hiking up Stan Indian Mountain. I'm not sure if we're at the top or at a little ridge here. It's a nice view over there, but I'm not going to walk over there. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going and see if uh, there's any more left to Standing Indian Mountain. Okay, we're almost at the top of uh, Standing Indian Mountain and that's the well I see more going up that way but um, it's about a, a two mile approach climb um, it's pretty uh, it's got a lot of switchback so it's uh, it's they're not real steep and it's real it's real doable it's not gonna take your legs up from underneath you the youngsters will just skip up here at uh, neck break speed Forgive the sound, I'm dragging one of my tracking poles. And 
I'm not gonna sneak up back in there to see if there's a better view, but there's kind of the, the view at Standing Indian Mountain. And uh, I generally try not to walk and film because I always trip over something. We have a hiker up here. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Doing good. Seems like you're going the wrong way. Yeah, I got to go up here to get some better reception. Okay, we're uh, standing in Beach Gap. And we're about uh, three miles from the shelter, maybe three and a half miles from the shelter we're going to. More like three and a half miles from the shelter we're going to. Turned into a nice day. That was cold until, uh, actually about, cold about an hour ago. But it's uh, warmed up. I'm taking my jacket off. And I'm really enjoying it right now. See you up ahead. Yeah. Right. So this is... This is Todd. Todd. And Grant. And Grant. They're, uh, they're weekend hikers. They say they don't deserve trail names, which I don't agree. Um, they're heading to Hiawassee. Where'd you start at? Uh, 64. 64. Yeah, 64. I have no idea where that's okay. at. Okay, it's that way about yeah. uh, 16 miles. 16 miles, okay. Yeah, like that. All right. Yeah, yeah. So you're just out for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday? That's right. Yeah. Joey, where are you staying tonight? We don't know yet. Don't just, know how far we make it. Just yeah. wherever you go, you go, huh? Yeah. One of the next two shelters. Yeah. Probably. All right. Yeah. Um, I stayed at not the next one, but the one after that. It was, it was pretty nice. The water was... The water's a little little uh, dark. It was picking up a lot of runoff from all that rain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was yeah. just saying we have young kids, so we get out here for three, four, yeah. five days. And that's yeah. about all we can do. Gotcha. But we're slowly making our way up. Uh, when I had young kids, I didn't our go. Wives any... are supportive so far. <laughs> my my wife is supportive in that she says, "Yeah, why don't you go?" But then you get that sense, like, you know, maybe <laughs> really not. Isn't this sweet? We're in. Uh, I haven't seen the rhododendrons in a couple of days, but. Uh, Look at this, gorgeous canopy of rhododendron. I like it. Well, we're in uh, Coleman Gap. I know this because that's what the sign says. And Coleman Gap is surrounded by rhododendrons, so there's absolutely zero view of the world here. All right, I'm uh, on my way up Timber Ridge and uh, along the way came across this beautiful view of the mountains from two sides, going up that way. And there's a nice view of like the woods down below and we came that way. See in a bit. All right, so uh, I'm in Carter Gap and it says shelter, so there's a shelter somewhere here. It's called Carter Gap Shelter. I can hear voices. Uh, nice view. And it's going to be a nice evening to dry out clothes and tents and sleeping bags. And... Okay, let me go find the shelter.